Um, I am playing the role of Akhenaten, who was a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, his father Amenhotep III. He is known for um, being or starting monotheism, which is um, worshiping just one god. And um, he was responsible for trying to uh, disband all of the different types of temples and religious worship that was going on in Egypt at the time. Um, his attempt was to get everyone on board worshiping the Aten, which was the sun god. And it was, it's, it's a pretty major thing in history. It's the first time that we see that idea of one god as opposed to the polytheistic religions which, which existed before that. This opera, um, compared to others, I feel like I, I don't have to fit a certain shape. It was extremely hard for me to find um, uh, other recordings or DVDs of this opera because it's not done a lot. It was actually very liberating because I could feel that I could be free on stage the way I acted. Uh, and also um, how I would interpret the music myself, you know, adhering to what the composer wrote. But it's very much instrumental music for the voice. It doesn't really give you that much uh, leeway to be an artist, um, but more deliver sound so that your sound collides with everyone else's and just delivers a beautiful full-on spectrum for the um, audience. I haven't done a Philip Glass opera before, and Philip Glass is a very specific style. He's very inspired by Eastern philosophy and, and uh, I believe a Buddhist himself. Um, and so his ideas of being in the present and, and sort of uh, transcending the moment and, and kind of getting into that trance state of just being one within you is very much in his music. Um, it's difficult because as a singer you're looking for a phrase to go somewhere and, and then a new phrase happens and there's things to hold on, little benchmarks. With this music it's a lot of repetition with slight changes, gradual things that only you hear by the end of it. So it, it's, it's a very different process when you're trying to learn a piece like this. Um, and the vocal writing is more instrumental in terms of the way it's approached. It's always a, a really interesting challenge. Um, but I'd say the memorization aspect was certainly different than memorizing other things. Uh, it's, it's very rhythmic, it's very number oriented, so I've had to I have a lot of numbers swimming in my head right now <laughs> with regards to how I memorize this and, and keeping track from scene to scene. This is pretty much history in the making. Um, this is the first Philip Glass opera that IU has ever put on. The principal roles, um, the choir, the sets, the costumes, everything is so beautiful. It just, it will make you want to come back to see it again and again and again. No pun intended on the minimalistic aspect of it, but um, it's just wonderful. Well, not many chances you're going to get to see a Philip Glass opera, for one. Uh, and they're, they're very interesting and very beautiful. Um, certainly uh, very accessible for a modern audience. It's very filmic in a way. Um, his operas tend to be very unique and, and unlike other modern composers and unlike really any other period. So we're really looking forward to presenting it and I think it will be something that you don't want to miss because there's not very many opportunities you'll have to see this kind of thing particularly this opera and particularly the, the way that it's being presented. <laughs>